Hi, this is Mrs. Mock from Peterson Elementary, and today we're going to talk about Pablo Picasso and some of his artwork, and we're going to talk about line. Pablo Picasso was born in 1881 in Spain, and one cool thing about Pablo Picasso is uh, his dad was actually an art teacher. His dad um, was Don Jose Reese y Blasco, and uh, his dad taught him how to draw and sent him to art school. Uh, pretty soon, Pablo was uh, an even better artist than his dad. Um, he was from Spain, like I said, and he went to art school in Barcelona and in Madrid. And when he was in Spain and as he got older, he went to lots of museums. He loved to look at all the artwork by other artists, uh, particularly one artist named El Greco. Later, he went to Paris and met lots of other artists. He made one special friend, Matisse, Henry Matisse. And um, as he got to know other artists and as he became influenced by their artwork, he became to adopt many different kinds of styles in his artwork. So we're going to talk about a couple of those styles. The first style we'll talk about is the Rose period and the Blue period. The rose period is when he made lots of happy artwork with warm colors and the blue period he made lots of sad artwork with lots of blues. He also um, was one of the first artists to make this artwork called Cubism. Um, it has a lot of overlapping shapes and lines uh, and a lot of squares and rectangles. He also made lots of collages. A collage is when we put lots of things over top of one another. Um, he's using different materials like paint and paper to make this collage of a violin. Okay, so now we're really gonna talk about these pictures, these line drawings. He made these line drawings really quickly with, um, with just a brush stroke, one continuous line going around and around to make his picture. And these illustrations, um, you can kind of tell where it has a starting point and it loops around to make its shape and an ending point. So I wonder if we can make some artwork like this using a line with our pencil or a marker or even a piece of yarn or maybe even a phone charger or a tablet charger. I made a piece of art real quickly with a piece of yarn that looks kind of like the dog that we see in this picture here. So I made a dog using just a piece of string and it kind of reminds me of Picasso's line drawing that has the dog, the second one on the left up there. I made another one that has an iPhone charger or an iPad charger and it looks like a bear to me. If I had another charger, I could make little details like ears or eyes or a nose. I bet that you can make some artwork inspired by Picasso's line drawings, either using a pencil or a marker or maybe even a piece of yarn or a charger of some kind. Take a picture so we can see what they look like. I can't wait to see your beautiful artwork.